Hey guys, Jeff from Tech Review back with another video on iOS 11. This time we are talking about battery life and how you can improve it while using the new OS. Let's not waste any time with an intro because quite frankly your battery is probably dying as we speak. So the first step we can take is to go to the settings app and open up the battery menu to see what's hurting your battery most. This menu will show you how much battery life everything on your phone has taken up. It will also show you how much time you spend on each app or function, which gives you a better idea of what apps you might be using excessively. One piece of information for you guys in regards to apps on iOS 11. Developers have had the OS for a week. Definitely not enough time to optimize their apps to use the least amount of your iPhone as possible to run their content. So just keep that in mind when you're using battery draining apps because they may not get better unless you lower your usage of those apps. If you go over to the widgets page on your home screen, you shouldn't have more than five running. If you have more than that, you may want to consider taking some of those widgets off your widget center and saving those for when app developers optimize their apps for lower battery consumption. Over the past couple days, you might have wanted to see iOS 11 in all of its glory with the screen brightness cranked up all the way. Well, screen brightness can be a killer, and since you are probably using the UI more than the old one, it's probably best to lower that screen brightness. You can also have the iPhone do that for you by clicking on the automatic screen brightness option. One thing that will carry over from iOS 10 is the raise to wake feature. This feature screams battery draining. Just turn it off. I mean, how hard is it to press the home button? Really, just think about that for a second. Okay, next thing you can do, and this is really just a last resort thing, put your phone into low power mode. Ultimately, this can conserve a lot of battery life because your phone will automatically turn off a lot of its functions. What's even better is you won't have to go back to the charger as often. One more thing, you know when that pop-up comes up when you're setting up your phone? It says, do you want to send diagnostic data to developers? Please click yes, okay, sure, whatever is there that means yes, because that really helps Apple see what bugs are in iOS 11 and how they can fix major issues such as battery life in upcoming beta versions. It also helps developers too. So that's all I have for you guys today. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you'd like to see more upcoming content, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. It's most definitely appreciated. I look forward to seeing you all in my next video, but until then, I hope you all have an awesome day.